do is remove any previous nail polish that you may have. If you don't have any nail polish, just go ahead and skip this step. Taking one of these nail filers, this is just the cardboard ones that are really scratchy. I'm just using this to file down my nails and I like square shape and don't forget to do the edges and the corners as well. four-way buffer and I'm using the side designated to remove ridges from your nails and smooth everything out. Now I'm going to smooth out the surface of my nail by using the white side. least I'm using the gray side of this buffering file and this helps add shine and it makes your nails look really healthy. cutting your cuticles off so what I like to use is a cuticle remover and all I do is place this in the cuticle area and let it sit for a few seconds. Letting it soak in for a while, I begin to start pushing back the cuticle area and dead skin will start to scratch off and you will see that but it's completely normal and okay. sure to moisturize your hands right after and I just like to dry it off with a towel to make sure I don't have that greasy feeling afterward. To help strengthen my nails, I like to use a base coat by Essie and this one is just called Grow Stronger. Letting that base coat dry for a few minutes, I am now going in with my polish color and this one is just by Etsy, it's a pretty blue color and I am doing one coat and then I'll let that dry for a few minutes. After that coat dried for a few minutes, I went back in with my second coat. Optional, 
but I am doing an accent nail on my ring finger. Don't forget a top coat. And I like to use drying drops just to make the drying process faster. And just carefully clean up any mistakes you have with whatever method you like and you are done.